Uh, what the city's doing is a pilot program for one of our aerated lagoons to find a new way to get rid of sludge that builds up in our lagoons. You know, it can be upwards of half a million dollars to remove, drain the lagoons, remove the sludge. And of course, that affects our treatment capacity because we have to take portions of our system offline. Um, it affects our operational capabilities and our flexibility. We were getting near the end of the three to five year cycle to remove sludge. So one of the things I challenged the staff was, you know, is there an alternate method to manually draining the aerated lagoons and mechanically with, you know, small tractors and equipment removing the sludge? And what they came up with is Blue Frog. The Blue Frog unit is our base unit. It's a hybrid aeration system that is um, really designed to digest organic digestible solids. A traditional system was simply an aeration where we introduce oxygen into the water through traditional style aerators and it, cre it keeps the microorganisms happy which treat which begin the treatment process of the water. The blue frog system actually short charges the surface of the water and converts the lagoons into a digester. We're enhancing the um, microbes in the lagoon that are already present and adapt to the adapted to the current uh, situation of the lagoon and we're actually um, feeding them <laughs> and growing a large population and spreading them through the lagoon site. And so what this is doing, it's literally eliminating um, the fact that a city would have to dredge. The sludge is actually self-consumed by the bioorganisms in the lagoons, which decreases our requirement for sludge removal, which is a very expensive process. William and our chemist Jill and I toured a couple of plants in Georgia to see how this worked. And while they were smaller than the city's plant, um, what we found is the operators there were true believers in this new technology. Uh, matter of fact, one operator explained his story that to get the aerators into his lagoon, he drug them out with a tractor because the sludge was so deep. Over about a 12 month period, his sludge reduced from five to six feet deep to approximately 18 inches. Um, it far exceeded his expectations. What they were finding is that the sludge was actually digesting in the lagoon itself and they were not having to mechanically dredge like they had in the past. It's uh, a process that most cities want to get away from handling because it's an ugly process, especially for the employees of the city that have to perform the task. Or if you're hiring an outside company, those are really expensive. And uh, we're digesting those solids, so we're eliminating any need to do any mechanical dredging, which is beneficial to our environment. Our sludge levels run anywhere from a foot to three, four, and five feet traditionally. Uh, the Blue Frog system, as as um, advertised and by design, should carry a bed of sludge around two feet. Blue Frog was not used in a municipal treatment plant anywhere in North Carolina. It was something new to the state. So our city engineer analyzed the submittal information from uh, Blue Frog, analyzed the processes, and basically submitted it to the state and showed through calculations that we thought that this would be a good opportunity as a test program in the city's aerated lagoons. We're actually seeing the sludge move around. The sludge moving around means that it's starting to digest and it's starting to, um, you know, agitate and starting to uh, feed on itself. What happens is after we clean it out, what does that do? That improves the capacity so more can go in. So it literally continues to digest the incoming solids, sewage, which is really important. We're keeping the pond from filling up and then we're attacking anything that's built up at the bottom. We're doing weekly sludge depth measurements. Uh, the, the data that we're gathering now is a little too early to make a judgment call. 
Uh, it's, it's a two-year pilot program. I'm hoping by the end of 12 months, we'll see a, a substantial reduction in the sludge in the train that we are testing and give us a comparison and hopefully be able to move forward with the other, th other two lagoons. What this is doing, it's literally eliminating um, the fact that a city would have to dredge, mechanically dredge, and land apply those solids. And we literally tell you that you don't have to dredge, you don't have to throw that money. You can utilize that money that you're saving from mechanical dredging into improving other areas uh, of the city. We are on course to meet the 12 to 18 month process that we expect to meet with the Blue Frog system.